little project here that I think I want to start uh, start doing. So um, what I'm going to do is we'll do uh, a couple pieces here and there, see how they turn out. And if everything's going good, we'll continue. Um, but let me show you some screen captures here of um, what we're going to be printing. As you can see, they have everything pretty well marked. Um, there's some pieces that we're going to have to buy, like um, these uh, metal pieces here. And we're going to have to get hubs. And we'll have to get the um, differentials. And it looks like there's a shaft that runs here. All that stuff should be able to be bought, I'm sure. Um, most of this stuff... Uh, it's plastic so we can make all that uh, here's just some exploded views of the parts it's your wing looks like a battery hold down there's diff cover so basically this might save quite a bit of money um, over actually purchasing the A959 which I've tried to buy several times and every time that I do, something always happens. Um, the last time I tried to get it was one of them Chinese stores, AliExpress or whatever, which I, I buy stuff from all the time. But for some reason, every time I try to buy this and the HSP 8th scale nitro um, short course truck, I have bought those at least twice, both models and I can't seem to get the something always happens they'll, they'll cancel my order something else will happen so this is the WL Toys A959 um, and again I've tried to get this several times and not really had any luck um, so basically this is what it looks like when the guy has it printed is this right here now things that I worry about with this right here is the um, wing towers I've had problems with that myself when I print the ones for the arm Italian but to be fair even when I buy the ones for the arm Italian I bust those off anyway so those are the only things that I break on my Italian but it is a little annoying because I've tried to make the smaller ones I went through at least four sets of them before I just decided yeah it's not really worth it I'll put one on every once in a while but um, I run it a lot of times without the wing. This being so small though, uh, it might be okay. I think it's more or less like a, a 16 scale or something like that. Um, I've been wanting one of these for a while because they're a little bit of a speedy kind of a, a devil for the size that they have. So we're going to be checking this out. Um, we're going to run a little bit of... Uh, I don't know different colors or whatever like the chassis will probably just make that black and then the diff covers I do want to have different colors like what he has here I don't have to have gray but just a different color and the arms I want to be different colors as well the rest of this I'm not so concerned about um, the wing mounts I don't care the wing itself I don't care the towers I don't care um, but for the most part the diff covers the um, arms and the chassis itself I will probably make different colors I might go with uh, black and then red arms and maybe blue or white um, diff covers I don't really like white though because white gets very dirty very quickly so I don't know we'll, we'll figure all that stuff out uh, it's gonna be kind of a fun build so hopefully it turns into something halfway decent uh, there's quite a few that I'm looking here on Thingiverse and decided that I'm going to start uh, just trying to go through some of these, print some of them out, and uh, see where they take me. WR Toys, A959 I believe. The print looks like it's uh, coming out pretty well. Uh, we're only at 50% uh, here, but uh, looks like it's doing pretty good so far. I did 100% uh, infill there so um, that's the chassis looks like it's coming along pretty nicely so uh, yeah this is uh, part one here so uh, we got a lot more work to do a lot of things to print but uh, so far looking pretty good
And this is the final product of the 3D printed chassis. Let's take a little closer look and see uh, what we can see here. There are a few blemishes over here. Uh, looks like the print got a little stuck or something there, but uh, I mean it's still pretty solid there, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um, I cleaned out the holes there. There was pretty easy actually. Um, underneath everything looks pretty good. Around the edges it didn't print so well, but sometimes the Ender 3 does that from time to time. Um, just some focus here a little bit. Um, all those holes there, I just basically cleaned them out with a hole reamer. And uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. Um, I can really clean up the edges if I want to. I can take a, um, a heat gun or something to it if I really, really want to, but I'm not going to worry about that. I, I never really worry too much about stuff like that, especially when we're testing. Um, if it turns out to be a decent uh, decent model here, I might do some cleanup on it then. Um, I will do some, but I won't, uh, I'm not going to worry too much about every little single detail. Um, I did notice that the edges here are a bit on the flimsy side. Um, I don't know what the uh, normal truck is, so maybe that's normal. I don't know. Still going to test it anyway, see uh, see what's up with it, see how well it does. So, uh, kind of looking forward to it, guys, really. Uh, I mean, pretty solid so far, so um, I'm pretty excited to kind of play around with it and see what it'll do.